welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing my self-care winter evening routine with you since last week's morning routine video was such a huge hit. So let's go ahead and get right on into this. So usually I like to shut down in the evenings around 5.30 or 6 p.m. While I do tend to work at night, I do try to shut down around this time. Otherwise I will work into the wee hours and no one needs that. You gotta have your evenings, right? So once I have shut down for the evening, I will head into the kitchen to make myself some dinner. A lot of the time, especially during the winter, I will rely on crock pot meals. Tonight was not one of those nights. I actually cooked myself some salmon and rice. And I always like to listen to music when I'm cooking my dinner. Cooking's not my favorite thing. I'm much more of a baker. So if I can make it fun, then, you know, it tends to just not be so bad. But once I finish eating, I like to start to unwind with television. And I usually will just put on Parks and Recreation even though I have seen this show. I'm not even kidding, I've watched every single season probably 10 times at least. I just love it, it's such a feel good show, it makes me so happy, it makes me laugh, and it kind of helps me to just forget about my day and not feel stressed out or overwhelmed anymore. Once I'm finished watching Parks and Recreation, it's time for a bubble bath. Bubble baths are my favorite part of my evening routine, whether it's summer or winter, I'm always taking Epsom salt baths with candles and I always like to bring a really good book in there with me. Once I've gotten out of the bath, then I will change into my pajamas. And as you can see, I'm wearing some very festive Christmas PJs. And then it's time to get into my skincare night routine. So first and foremost, I will get any excess dirt off of my face by using a Neutrogena wipe. So once I wipe wiped my face with that Neutrogena towelette, that is when I will start the cleansing process. So I always like to splash my face with some cool water and then I use Dermalogica's special cleansing gel. That is what I use for my face wash. I've been using this for years. It's perfect for sensitive skin, but it does just enough to really feel like it's cleansing. And it's also great for combination skin. So this works great in cleansing my skin, but I feel like it doesn't strip all the oils off of my skin, if that makes sense. It's the perfect balance I highly recommend this stuff. Then I will move on to using my jade roller. So there are a lot of benefits to using jade rollers. It helps increase the circulation in your face and it can also help smooth out fine lines and wrinkles. So once I've finished using my jade roller, I will then move on to toning my face. And I use the Pixi Rose Tonic Moisturizing Toner. I just put a little bit of this on a cotton round and dab it over my face. So then I move on to using a vitamin C serum by True Skin. And vitamin C is known for its anti-aging benefits, which is why it's so perfect to put on your face. But topical vitamin C is also great for protecting your skin from damage, like the sun's UVA and UVB rays. And that's because vitamin C is an antioxidant, so it naturally helps to strengthen your skin and repel things that could damage it. So once I have put the vitamin C serum on my face and neck, then I will move into a heavier moisturizer. And I just recently started using Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. I cannot say enough good things about this product. So before I was using my Dermalogica Active Moist, I'm a big Dermalogica fan, and while this was great, it just wasn't thick or heavy enough in the winter time. Then I will move on to eye cream. And I'm sorry this clip is a little bit blurry. I don't know what happened here, but I use Bobbi Brown's Hydrating Eye Cream. So I'll just dab a little bit of that underneath my eyes. And then if I have any blemishes or anything like that, then I'll go ahead and put on a little bit of Burt's Bees Herbal Complexion Stick. I love this product because it's all natural and it's infused with 10 herbal ingredients, including tea tree and juniper oils. From there, I will then brush my teeth with Tom's Rapid Relief Sensitive Toothpaste. It's fluoride free. And last but not least, I always like to put some lip balm on before I go to bed. I've been using Glossier's balm.com and this lip balm is everything. I do wear contacts every single day, so of course I make sure to take those out and put on my glasses, and then it is time to unmake the bed so I can crawl right into it. And I always like to have snuggles with Denali before going to bed. She's very needy in the evenings and always wants to have her belly rubbed, so I make sure to give her a lot of extra special attention at night. As part of my evening routine, I'm doing my best to read at least 10 to 20 pages per night of a book. I've really fallen off the reading train, but I've been doing a lot better. So once I have read my pages for the evening, then I will turn off the light and go to sleep. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I really hope that you enjoyed seeing my self-care winter night routine. 
Again, since these routine videos tend to be a little bit on the shorter side, I wanted to go ahead and film a day in the life vlog. Even though I'm getting a little bit of a later start today, it's all good. But before we do that, I want to roll some footage from something that was really, really cool, and it was thought up by Annie and Bethany, some fellow author tubers in the community. I will link their YouTube channels in the description box below. And they actually created something called AuthorTube Secret Santa. So I'm gonna roll some footage so you guys can see when I received my gift and who my secret Santa was. So I just went to my P.O. box and I got a package. And while I did open, the actual box. I haven't opened up the gifts because I wanted to do an unboxing with you guys because this year is the first ever AuthorTube Secret Santa. This was an idea thought up by Annie and Bethany. I'll make sure to leave a link to both of their YouTube channels in the description box below. Make sure you go check their channels out because they will be making a playlist with all of the videos for everyone who participated in this AuthorTube Secret Santa. But right now, I will find out with all of you who my Secret Santa is and also who I gifted who secret Santa I was. So this is such an amazing idea. I love that we are bringing the festivity and the holiday cheer and spirit to AuthorTube. It makes me so happy. So let's dive into my secret Santa gift. Kristen, this is for the mornings you're feeling magical and are in need of a boost of energy. It's a bug. It is a Harry Potter mug. And it says happiness can be found in the darkest of times when one only remembers to turn on the light. Albus, Albus Dumbledore. This is amazing, I love this. New favorite mug. Next, this is exciting. Oh, it's shedding all over me. <laughs> what a unique way to wrap whatever this is. Oh my gosh, how cute is this? Oh, it's an ornament with Minnie Mouse on it. Kristen, here's something you can stash some writerly goodies in right on. Oh my gosh. How cute is this? It's a typewriter bag. This is so perfect. I've actually been needing something like this because I'm running out. I've used up all my pencil pouches and I needed one that was bigger. So this is so perfect. Yay! Let's go ahead and read the letter that went along with it. Find out who my secret Santa is. Any guesses? Any guesses? Kristen, I was ecstatic when I found out you were my secret Santa buddy. Eek! Not only did I have the pleasure of meeting you at your Dallas book tour stop, Oh, hint, hint. You were a doll, by the way. But I've looked up to you ever since I found out AuthorTube was an actual thing. I anticipate your videos every Monday morning, waiting impatiently for your latest vlog to go live. Gotta have writing advice from KM to start off the new work week. Now onto the secret Santa activities. For the remainder of this letter, I'll be your own personal Christmas elf. This is seriously so precious. And since I'm one of Santa's elves, I was able to sneak some presents from the big man early this year. I see that. I dove into his bag of toys and got you some gifts that I hope the writer and you will appreciate. Let's rip open your bags and see what's inside. Have you opened up all your presents yet? Yes, good. Now it's time for present talk. This is so well organized, I love this. My type A heart is very happy right now. One of your gifts is a Harry Potter mug with one of Dumbledore's classic quotes, probably my favorite Dumbledore quote. I thought of you when I purchased this because I know you're a Harry Potter fan and also because this is a white mug that goes with your office decor and your crisp, clean style. Thank you. The other gift I got you is a cute pouch to stow pens, pencils, and other writerly goodies in. If you ask me, the best part about this pouch is the design of the red vintage typewriter. Every writer desires some sort of typewriter in their life, right? I also like how it matches the color of your hair. Indeed it does. The last goodie you'll find is something not from Santa's toy bag, but something off my own Christmas tree. Oh, okay, Minnie, you're gonna have to come here for a second so I can hold you up. This Minnie Mouse ornament used to hang on my tree alongside dozens of other Disney ornaments I own. I'm a huge Disney fan, another hint, and wanted to spread the Disney love into your house for the holidays. Minnie told me how happy she is to be a part of your home this Christmas and for future Christmases to come. Maybe someday you can find her a Mickey ornament to hang next to her. Even though you have books to write and YouTube vlogs that need to go out on time, I hope you don't work too hard this season and can enjoy the little things. Enjoy extra snuggles with Denali, extra cups of hot cocoa, and extra time with loved ones. I hope you're able to celebrate your faith with family this year, Kristen. Here's to new memories that will last a lifetime. Your secret Santa elf, Brooke. 
Brooke Passmore. <gasps> oh, thank you, Brooke. My heart is so full right now. I love my ornament. I love my mug. And I love my typewriter pouch. These are just the perfect, the absolute perfect gifts. Just absolutely amazing. And I really liked how fun this, it was almost like a little scavenger hunt. That's not the right word for it, but everything was just perfect. Such an amazing secret Santa present. Again, make sure you guys check out both Annie and Bethany's YouTube channels. I will link them in the description box below. Check out the AuthorTube Secret Santa playlist so that way you can see what Brooke got as well as everyone else and also see whose secret Santa I was. Hello friends. Oh, my microwave is beeping at me because I had to heat up my coffee. It's not warm enough, definitely not warm enough. It's about 1.30 in the afternoon. I am starting this vlog a little bit later than usual, but I woke up and just everything went wrong. Everything exploded, my inbox, all the stuff was happening. So I spent most of the morning sorting everything out, which is why I'm on like my third cup of coffee and it's one o'clock. Whoa, okay, that's a little too hot. <laughs> I'm burning my tongue. This is hashtag true, true day in the life, true life, me being really scattered and all over the place. I don't know if you can see my desk. It's absolute madness. There's just papers and things everywhere. Okay, that's better. My face is still kind of shadowed from my hat, but it's not as bad as it was in the kitchen. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Let's all take a breath because obviously I'm, I'm a little frazzled. I've got a lot to do before I leave on vacation and sadly, this is my last YouTube video. Tear, my last one for 2018. So, real quick, before we get started in this vlog, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my winter, my self-care winter night routine. Couple of quick announcements. First things first, today is the last day to enroll for my self-study coaching program for writers called Valiance. And if you're not on my newsletter and you don't follow me on Instagram, then most likely you are not aware that I did bring back the 12 month payment plan option. That means you can get Valiance for the same price as if you were to pay for the six month option. So instead you have 12 months to pay and it cuts the payment in half. So it's only $1.99 a month for 12 months and you have access to Valiance for life. I'll be making quite a few updates in the new year to Valiance. So the price will go up as more content is added. So this is a great time to lock in that program at that rate because it's never going to be this low again. Enrollment for Valiance will end tonight, Monday, December 17th at 11.59 p.m. Central Standard Time. So not much time left. I will leave the link in the description box below. I'll also link it up in the cards. So make sure you take advantage of that. Just a lot of stuff going on, a lot of things that I'm trying to wrap up for this year so that I can start fresh, clean slate, ready to go in 2019. And speaking of 2019, in case you did not see last week's video, I did give an update on my YouTube schedule and my podcasting schedule. So like I said earlier, this is the last video for 2018 and my YouTube schedule will resume on January 7th, 2019. And as far as podcasting goes, the final podcast episode will go up this week as well, either Wednesday or Thursday of this week. So keep an eye out for that. You can listen to my podcast, which is called That Smart Hustle on iTunes and SoundCloud. You can find the links in the description box below. And I think the reason why I feel scattered today and a little bit all over the place is because my perfectionistic side, is that even a word perfectionistic? I just made it a word. <laughs> that side of me has really kicked in over the past couple of weeks because I am launching something that's really exciting. Um, it's for the creative entrepreneur. That is all I'm going to say, but I am launching something brand new in the early part of 2019. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and that little bell that will send you email notifications to your inbox whenever I upload a new video. Also make sure that you are subscribed to my newsletter at kristenmartinbooks.com because again, there's a lot of exciting stuff coming your way in 2019 and I wouldn't want you to miss any of it. So before I get started on my to-do list and sorting through everything, I need to clean my office because it's a mess. Like my planner, look at this. My planner is on the floor. Like what is happening? What happened in here? I don't know. Also, I have dog hair all over my pants. Denali just follows me no matter where I go. So I'm going to go find a lint roller. 
and then I'm going to clean my office, get it nice and pretty so that way I can actually be productive and start working. organized everything <sighs> okay I feel so much better I need to light a candle though yeah we have officially set the mood open up my trusty planner here <laughs> you know, I look at my planner lately it's just it's fine it's fine I'm actually a little bit behind on planning for 2019. So I've had a lot of people requesting that I make a sort of planning video or behind the scenes look into that process. So that's probably going to be coming your way in January because that is the perfect time to post a planning video. Looking at my planner, the things I need to get done are I need to edit that podcast episode, which is number 53. I am interviewing someone for the podcast, which will be the next episode. So I need to get all that sorted out. Really excited to bring that to you guys. I need to send my newsletter. I have a couple of things I need to do on the website. I have multiple to-do lists right now, so it's making things, I need to just condense them. Maybe that should be the first thing I do is to condense everything into one list and then prioritize. Ah, yes, I have to get start getting my tax documents together. So I've got quarterly sales tax documents that's due by the 20th. So that's probably the first thing I need to do. And the rest of it I can't really tell you about because they're all secret projects and have to do with what I'm launching next year. So I'm going to get started organizing this and then we will continue on with the to-do list. Oh no. Before we do that, I need to put some food in the crock pot. Well, hello there. What are you doing? <laughs> Were you asleep? Hi. Okay, looks like we've got another out. Whoa, steaming up the camera. But pretty soon here, I'm gonna need to add in the sour cream and the cheese. Oh, I hear Lacey. Hi there, what you doing? Hanging out? Did you open the closet door? Well, I come in here to pet you and you don't even want my attention. You silly. I know. I know. <laughs> I know normally I close out my vlogs later in the evening and it's only five o'clock <laughs> right now but i have a feeling this vlog is going to be pretty long since i had my winter night routine and also the author tube secret santa unboxing so i think i'm gonna go ahead and sign off here but in doing so that means that i won't see you guys until 2019 that's so crazy. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up to support my channel. Don't forget to subscribe and click that little bell that will send you email notifications to your inbox when I upload new videos. And that notification will come to you on January 7th, 2019, because that is when I will be returning to YouTube. I hope you guys have an amazing, holiday season have so much fun with your friends and family take this time to really relax and unwind and reconnect with yourself and your loved ones and just remember what's important i will see you guys in the new year bye